if you're like me, then when you get JSON from your colleagues or from customers and you want to check uh, first, is the JSON valid? I mean, can I actually start to do some code or to work with a JSON? I first need to check if it's valid. And one way to do it is to open the JSON, copy its content, paste the content into an online uh, checker and then have the online checker do the work. Or you can paste it into special uh, or into specific uh, um, IDEs or editors and in most cases you will also see if there are issues uh, in the file. Now the bigger the file the harder it is to actually um, see which errors um, are in the JSON and for that I'm going to show you a quick way to do this uh, in Python. So we have a file here and we want to check, we want to create a function that tells us okay is this valid from a JSON formal perspective yes or no. So firstly I'm going to import JSON from um, Python and Let's create, give it a name like JSON um, validate and we're going to take in a JSON file. Now, since we want to prevent any um, exceptions from being thrown, I don't know, maybe the file is, is not a JSON. Maybe you're giving me an image. Now, I want to prevent any errors in the code. so. Our check is going to first go into a try, and in the try we just say the following. So we have JSON, and JSON we see JSON loads, and then that takes the JSON file. Now, um, in case um, we have here uh, an exception, we want to catch that exception, and to do that we say um, accept, and we say no value error as error and in case that happens we just return false so that our JSON is not valid and in case we don't have any errors we just return true so let's just see if this works so we do a print to see the result and we do JSON validate and then we do JSON um, data and we run this and it says false well that means our JSON is not valid and I kind of know why this is the case if I remove the comma here at the end save it and run it again it is true now this is a quick way to validate if you have the JSON already in your code but what if so what if you have a file like this one yeah, we have file one, file two. Now imagine this were 10,000 lines of code. It's difficult and annoying to always check uh, here and there and uh, see what are the issues. Now if you have Python installed, um, you can just open your terminal and there is one nice command that will allow you to, to check if these files are valid. And for that, you just do Python, Python minus M, a JSON um, tool, and now we need to give it the file name. Now, now since I am in the same folder as the two files, I can just say file wasn't JSON, and I get an error. It says at line nine, so it's expecting a comma at line 9, column 9. So if I go here, line uh, and I run it again, now it returns to me the full correct JSON. I can do the same for file 2 and it says invalid control character at line 4. So if I open it now, yeah, it's actually this one, the class and run it again, and it returns the full JSON. Now, there you have it. This was how you can validate that your JSON has the correct format in Python, and we actually managed to do it in under five minutes. As always, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, and bye-bye.